Can you describe one of the encounters you've had with what Native people call the great mystery, some kind of encounter with God? Yeah, of course, the night sky with my father sitting on the steps next to me, and suddenly, I don't know why, my father was a very strong and poetic man, but looking up suddenly at the night sky and suddenly <clears throat> billions of stars appear. I was suddenly <laughs> seeing, I never saw anything like that. It, it was like, every, there was hardly any blackness. It was like a, suddenly a vision. And my father, without any kind of prompting, he said to me, that's God. And I, I'll never forget that moment. It just was, of course, I may have seen something, projecting something, but he must have felt something. And so I could give you a thousand, I'm sure you could give me 10,000 moments. Some of them are too intimate to speak about even. And, but um, I, I can tell you that there are experiences of something which is timeless and infinitely benevolent in ourselves and above. That is no question in my mind. And I grew up as an atheist, rabid existentialist, and yet I loved science, I loved nature, but I, it took me a long time before I actually tasted this other level. So I think, I think a, a great path would help people taste God, not just think about him, not just, don't you think? Yes.